everyone and welcome back to another Half-Life video. And today I'm continuing on with the game after getting through the uh, beginning part of the game, the introduction, and then basically causing the Resonance Cascade. Uh, Causing a whole bunch of aliens from Zen to pour into our world and basically take it over. And I might have said it last video, but man, this this game is an absolute classic. This game is 26 years old. Uh, incredible to say, but this this game is just a class, <laughs> just a classic. Just a very well made game by Valve. Their first big game that they made. Alright, ride the elevator back up. Why didn't they listen? Try to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Sure thing, Doc. Uh, away. Well, scientist, not a doctor, but... Uh, I don't have a weapon yet. Yeah, I forgot about that. I just wanted to get free from the head crabs. Oh god. Oh. I forgot that it basically opens the door for you. Normal difficulty, right? I didn't select hard or anything like that. At least I think. I think this is. Um, uh, normal difficulty. I mean. I mean, I never play on easy. That's for sure. One hit away from death, though. Depleted. Yep. 
just had to olay him. Oh, any secrets? Well, microwave casserole. And yes, I will be playing both episodes of Half-Life 2 as well, uh, when I eventually get there. Ah. Uh, excellent. Forty? Eh. Better than nothing. <coughs> Better than nothing. That's for sure. Okay! <laughs> okay, so now I've looked down that way. And let's go this way. Biohazard warning in sector B. Not possible to go right there. For the most part, I I generally know the way to go. Uh, although the stuff falling around me in this beginning bit, uh, my my memory is a bit fuzzy uh, with this game. Took ten damage. Scientist was really excited there for a minute. Seizure warning. Just a computer. October 2017, I think it was October, through January of 2019, I did uh, play uh, Black Mesa for this channel. So, <coughs> so if you want to watch me play Black Mesa, then that is... Back then, I didn't realize that Half-Life was a thing, believe it or not. Uh, I had no idea, and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to admit that, but I just, for some reason, didn't know about Half-Life uh, six or seven years ago. Well, seven years ago, I didn't know about Half-Life for some reason. I... I don't know why! Uh, I just didn't. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Okay. 
yeah, I just, I just didn't know about Half-Life, and I think I kind of made the comment, uh, in that Black Mesa finale, like, oh man, I uh, wonder if they could make a Black Mesa 2, it's like, yeah, no, they're not remaking Half-Life 2, because Half-Life 2 still looks like a modern art piece, or, well, I, well, modern art is terrible, I shouldn't say that, but, I mean, Half-Life 2 looks like it could have come out today, still, and yet it came out 20 years ago, but I digress. I thought it was right here. There we go. Well, one of the entryways. I don't know how long this series will take me to run through. I I have no idea. It it, it really depends on uh how quickly I'm able to get through things, but this lift is always, has always been amazing. die so early into the series, but here we are! First death of the series. Into Half-Life. But no, I'm not gonna play the expansions. Uh, Blue Shift and uh, Opposing Force. At least not right now. I'm trying to play through Opposing Force. I make gradual progress every once in a while on it. It's something that kind of gets thrown on the back burner uh, for some reason. I, 
I really do love Gordon as a protagonist, though. Because Gordon is just... Gordon's just an MIT graduate. Gordon's just a big, massive nerd, at least in the first game, with a ponytail. And that's amazing to me. Like, I... I just love that. Uh of him and then he's just a big massive nerd but all right I'm going to oh yeah I know this title which I think you can get to that by stacking up the boxes but I didn't uh, as you know so anyway Yeah, you can stack up the boxes and get there. I haven't gotten there before. Anyway. Yep. Oh, God! I forgot that that part is not stable either. <coughs> I totally forgot about that part. Holy cow. about it no I'm good I'll just go through the door I'll just go through the door It's like the head grabs over there. Oh! Oh god. Oh damage! Oh god, that almost killed me! Is this... is this really normal? me no. when my new game enemies not kill me. It's always the better option. Uh, I always like not dying. It's always great. Especially to head crabs. Dying to the freaking head crabs are like dying to the imps in Doom where you just go, why? Like... Like, like, I get that you're throwing these things at me, but they're just annoying more than anything. Which, by the way, yes, Doom is on my bucket list of things to play for this channel eventually. Just like Half-Life was. And now, after Dying Light 2 fizzled out, which probably need to get new computer by the time I even play that game again. Uh, freaking tower segment piece of crap. I'm still kind of salty about that. <coughs> anyway.
this parkour is relatively simple, but I'm still going to save and all that right before. Because if I don't save, I'm gonna fall. Okay. Yep. I'm clear on the other side. I wish I had destroyed those boxes, though. Because I know Valve loves to hide secrets within boxes and crates and stuff. That's why I destroy, like, all the boxes and crates that I encounter, in case you're curious. Uh, it's because it is. I mean, they, they do. And I, I applaud them for doing so. Yes, kill. Yes! Kill that other head crab. Yes! Alright. Well, I think that... This is where I'm going to save and then um, end the video for now. I think this is a good stopping point uh, right before doing the office complex level. And so I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, stop right here. And see us, guys! I do believe that that will do it for this Half-Life video. And until next Half-Life video, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching! And...